from the Mac to the iPhone and to the Apple Watch. As the power of compute increased, the size of our computers or our devices decreased. Apple is perhaps best known for its iPhones and MacBooks. However, its employees are at the heart of all their success. But today's video is focused around two of their former employees who have launched Humane AI and their AI pin, which is anti-smartphone, stopping people from looking down at their phones and instead immersing themselves in their surroundings. Imran Chowdhury and Bethany Bongiorno are the founders of Humane AI a stealthy artificial intelligence company that started in 2019 but has just launched its revolutionary first product, an AI pin. Headquartered in San Francisco, Humane launched AI pin last week, a wearable device that is a mobile assistant. The firm have partnered with Microsoft, OpenAI, Qualcomm and T-Mobile to deliver the next era of personal mobile computing. Given the close relationship with Microsoft and OpenAI, one of Humane's largest shareholders is OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman, who's recently been fired and rehired in the space of a weekend. So how does the Humane AI pin work? The device is worn like a pin on your jumper, jacket or coat and the user uses their voice to interact with the device. Rather than using a screen, the device can project text and images onto your palm. And the AI pin has a built-in camera which identifies objects and captures video memories. The device communicates to the user through a Personic speaker or Bluetooth headphones and it doesn't need to be paired to a smartphone with all the data, photos and videos accessed through Humane's website. It has an indicator that we call the trust light. Humane's AI pin tries to avoid privacy concerns that blighted Google Glass many years ago by featuring a trust light which shows when sensors and cameras are active. Unlike Amazon's Alexa, the pin doesn't listen for wake words, having to be meaningfully activated by the user. And it's got this really special speaker that creates this bubble of sound. There are a variety of functions that set the pin apart like the introduction of a Personic speaker so only you can hear what the device is saying. When conversing with the PIN, users can use the Catch Me Up function, where the device sorts through your emails and messages to let you know who is reaching out to you. Catch me up. Lucy called and your flight is at 7am. Tell Lucy I'm on my way. It can act as an interpreter when on holiday to translate yeah. foreign languages. Hey, what should I get here? What's that you're here? What's that you're and it can also identify foods to provide nutrition information on the go. Can I eat this? Yes, dragon fruits are low in sugar. The pin operates a perpetual power system, with users able to swap out the battery pack to provide juice for the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. The AI pin is designed to help people put their mobile phones down, and the idea is to talk to the pin rather than get bogged down in screens and settings, avoiding distractions. The pin connects to AI models and will work closely with ChatGPT, which will be one of the device's core features. The AI pin was actually demoed at TED earlier this year, and whilst this new model is more advanced, it's not limited to how it looks and feels today. Humane say that they will continue to improve the pin, which will evolve with future software updates. They were the pros, however the cons are likely to be centered around pricing. The AI pin is not cheap, at $700 alongside a $24 a month subscription, giving the user a T-Mobile phone number and internet coverage, which leaves us thinking, will anyone actually buy this? Whilst the humane AI pin is trying to lure people away from mobile phone usage, especially as you'd probably continue to use a mobile phone at the same time, which also costs money every month, either way, Humane plans to start shipping in early 2024. There is also the problem of competition and lack thereof. Years ago, we saw Google Glass try and fail to do something similar. Meta has recently launched the Ray-Ban smart glasses, which are considerably cheaper at $299. Some say the smartphone remains as the superior device, and the challenge that Humane are up against is that they are the first mover, hoping people will ditch their smartphones at a time when many are still clamoring for the latest iPhone. I mean, would you ditch your phone for a pin you can wear on your clothes? I can see this being ahead of its time, and it quite possibly might suffer the same fate as Google Glass. A great idea 
but just too soon. The AI pin will likely have a snowball effect. The first iteration will be its worst and it will constantly get better as AI improves. Humane no doubt hope that their wearable device will follow the path of the mobile phone which gave people a portable connection to the world. They are betting that you would be willing to put your phone down. And given that most people are addicted to their phone, they might have a point. But are they too early? Only time will tell.